Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason with DevSlips.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add one of your GitHub or Bitbucket projects to your server. So go ahead and open up the terminal or your command line and make sure that you're logged into your server. So right now I'm at the root level and I'm going to navigate into a folder called var. Well, I guess I have to do forward slash var. Okay, list it out and you can see this folder here, www. This is where we want to put our projects uh, for our server. So let's go ahead and navigate to that directory, list it out. So any projects or websites that you've built, you're going to upload into this directory. This is where the server is going to look to see what projects it should be hosting. Now, what's really neat is with a droplet on DigitalOcean, you can actually host more than one website. So if you had three or four websites, keeping in mind that they all fit within the size of your droplet, that there's enough space, you can add each individual project here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull in a dummy project that I've created. I've also provided the source code for you uh, as well if you wanna add that to your GitHub or Bitbucket and then pull it into your server. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go into repositories right here. And my test one is this one, my hosting. All right, and I'm gonna do clone with SSH, copy the link. And remember what we did uh, before is we created an SSH key for our server and added the public key to this GitHub. So I should be able to pull any project I want. So let's open up the terminal again. And it's the first time adding this project. So we're gonna clone it into the repo. So git clone and then paste that in. And then it's asking me if I want to continue or not. It hasn't done this before. Heck yes, we want to continue. Check that out. It's all done. So if I do LS, <laughs> look at that. It's right there. I love it. So that's how easy it is to clone a project from GitHub or Bitbucket directly into your server. And now we have it exactly where it needs to be for our server to look for it in our www directory. So that's it for now. Let's keep moving.